Now, finally, let's look at two special cases um, or common presentations to the pharmacy. So the first would be young children under the age of four. So allergen avoidance should obviously be discussed with these patients um, or their parents and saline sprays can be effective. An oral antihistamine of choice would be cetirizine and that's as a once daily dose. So it's licensed from age two, however, there are good safety records from age six months and upwards. If the patient has moderate to severe persistent symptoms, however, the first line treatment will be inhaled corticosteroids. The long-term follow-up studies suggest that there's no growth retardation if used as a once daily dose. Um, however, just be mindful of inhaled or topical corticosteroids already being used as this cohort often have eczema and, and may have asthma um, coexisting also. And for those patients who have resistant symptoms and have coexisting asthma, a leukotriene receptor antagonist like Montelukast can be considered. And the second case would be those who are pregnant. So pregnancy rhinitis alone affects 20% of pregnancy and, and pre-existing allergic rhinitis can also worsen during pregnancy. So ideally we want to avoid medications in this cohort and only use them if the benefit to the mother is greater than the risk to the fetus. Ideally, again, we want to avoid medications during the first trimester um, in particular and topical administration in general should be the first line um, treatment option. Again, allergen avoidance and saline irrigation um, should obviously be considered for these patients. First line treatment will be in tranasal corticosteroids with a low bioavailability as we discussed before. So to take his own medicine will be the best um, choices for these patients. Second line treatment will be oral antihistamines and again second generation so that there's less sedating and fewer cholinergic side effects. Eye symptoms can be managed with sodium chromoglycate eye drops which is a mast cell stabilizer. From the perspective of additional medications this is taken on a case-by-case -case, um, basis and obviously risk and benefit assessment needs to be carried out before commencing any additional medications.